Hello and welcome back to this week's vlog. Well, it's nearly time at long last for our experience day guests to join us back here at Icarus Falconry. So we're getting some more birds back on the wing because a lot of these guys have had a prolonged rest nowadays due to the lockdown. And in previous vlogs, you've seen Joe with Horizon here. He's a Chilean blue eagle buzzard, or black-chested buzzard eagle, got many common names. We've just started getting him back through his paces, and as you may remember, Joe's told you before, he needs the wind to really show off, to do his thing. Now, yesterday, it was gale force winds. Today, it's not really. But check out these two or three stoops that he pulled off yesterday. Check out these, because that's what this bird does, and that's the wow factor from a Chilean blue eagle buzzard. That's what they do best, and they look great. Check out the videos. We're gonna go and weigh Wurzel. He's been on the diet, do you mind? And Wurzel, we were flying him into, into lockdown, but then he got wayward twice, and I didn't really think it was good for me traipsing across the countryside at the beginning of lockdown to find him. So he's had a rest. He's fattened up, molted some feathers. He's on a diet, we're gonna go and see what he weighs. And if he weighs about right, we'll be able to fly him later on, and you can film it. Watch it. Have a look at this. Herb garden looks great. Our fantastic benches for our experience day guests look great. And the gravelled area that yesterday was full of weeds. Thanks to Phil, our volunteer gardener. What a great bloke he's been in. He's actually been in on his own this morning, bless him. And he's got rid of all the weeds on the gravel for us. So thank you very much, Phil. The place looks great and you're a big help. We're weighing this eagle. And before we fly him, we're going to cut and strim all the lawns so the place looks ship shape, ready for our grand opening. So Wurzel here is 7 pounds and 13 ounces. That's well within his weight range. I could do with him being a couple of ounces lighter today. Just a bit more edge on his appetite because he hasn't flown free for a while, but he'll be just about okay. You'll see later. But first, it is time to cut those lawns. He can chill out for a bit and then we're going to fly him later on. Come and join us. bit was a disaster not a single puff of air and for this guy here who hasn't flown for a few weeks now a bit unfit he landed in a tree did a circle nearly landed on the cow watch this space no <laughs> you shouldn't laugh been streaming today and as i've told you in pre previous vlogs the falcon center is full of short-tailed field voles and they're fantastic not only are they brilliant food for things like wild barn owls and kestrels they're actually great for the ecosystem because their little tunnels and burrow little tunnels and burrows actually become really good breeding sites for certain species of bumblebees. So we've got a meadow area and we positively don't mind having these short-tailed voles at all. And I've got one here, his name's Timothy. See if you can say hello to Timothy. Hello. Hello. Sadly, Timothy's an ex-vole. What actually happened was it turns out he got clipped by the streamer. Now, I know he hasn't been poisoned. Bless him, I hate wasting anything. I think if you're gonna kill an animal, it's gotta be used, it's gotta be useful back into the system. So he's actually gonna be food for our kestrel. But have a look at these amazing animals. This is only a youngster. Huge teeth, he's a rodent. Look at these teeth. Amazing for gnawing, and they like to eat shoots and stems of plants and seeds and all manner of things. Short-tailed field vole, because they generally do have a short tail and like a mouse. Ears. The kite end of 
hidden by the fur. Good hearing, incredibly good hearing, but not big ears like a wood mouse, for instance. And you can tell by his tiny eyes, these guys have got utterly useless eyesight. And he's about half grown. And to be honest, while I was swimming, I actually disturbed a family. The mother vole ran off, followed by three of these cute little youngsters. This one obviously got left behind because he got clipped by the streamer line. Unfortunately, we couldn't see him in the long grass. But we'll recycle him, bless him. What a cute animal. Absolutely vitally important in the British countryside because without short-tailed voles or field voles, kestrels, barn owls, and a host of other species, even adders, would really, really suffer. These are in our countryside by the thousands upon thousands a grassland species that is very low in the food chain and not good at avoiding strimmer wire, bless him. Interesting thing. Goodbye, Timothy. Keep watching the vlog. Okay, well, what we're doing, we're back to our, our baby hatchling Puebla milk snakes and we're recording what they've been eating. So I don't really want these guys to go to a new home until they've had four, five or six feeds and we know they're okay and, and they're all gonna be fine. Now these ones, this batch are already sold if you like. They're already going to our great friends at the Northampton Reptile Centre. And if you want really good quality captive bred reptiles and amphibians, what a place we can recommend. If you're around the Northamptonshire area, the Northampton Reptile Centre, they not only offer quality captive bred livestock, they also offer all the correct equipment and probably even better. They're always there to give you really good practical advice built on many years experience. And if you're new into this kind of hobby or pastime, that's probably the sort of place you ought to be buying your reptiles from, somewhere that give you a really great backup service. So what are we doing? Well, animals I hold back, snakes I'm gonna hold back for myself. I don't usually keep many records as such about their feeding because we don't have that many animals here. And I know which have been eating well and which haven't. I can actually remember that and my memory is not that good. But if you're gonna keep animals and grow them on to sell them or for new homes, Really, you do need to keep a record of how well they're feeding and what they're doing and when. So let's have a look in here. First off, I can see for sure, we've got a bit of poo, always a good sign, but we've got two little pinky mice. Now, of course, these were frozen and thawed. We don't feed them live. They're no good now. They've been in there since yesterday evening. No good at all, but have a look on here. So we can see, didn't feed on that feed, but this guy's had two feeds very recently indeed. In fact, this was only a couple of days ago. Not to worry, it's still digesting its last meal. Not to worry at all. Okay, so the first batch of snakes, of baby milk snakes are ready to go. Uh, they're all eating very well. And now we've got a batch that's a few weeks behind from another female. And these ones, have a look in here. They're on a different substrate. These are on paper towels, which is a great way to keep baby hatching snakes. Easy to clean out the whole enclosure. The others were on a, a peat-based substrate, which actually they really like for this kind of species. They like to burrow a little bit. Have a look. Let's have a look at this one. It's eating well. It's tipped its, tipped its water bowl over. Little mini hide while they're at this stage. Let's just have a look before we clean it out because these are very fast things. This is an apricot. So instead of white natural banding, it's got that lovely colourful bit in there, that lovely apricot colour if you like. Look at these. Aren't they just the most beautiful little baby snakes and these ones are just starting feeding and they'll be ready to go in a couple of weeks when they've had a few feeds they feed them about twice a week absolutely gorgeous I hope you enjoyed meeting those and we'll bring more as they hatch before the hatching season's over check out the rest of the vlog <laughs> now earlier in the vlog we told you that we were getting Wurzel here the bald eagle back up in the air for the first time since really the middle of lockdown and flat calm conditions, no wind, no lift him at all. He's had a rest, he's a little bit unfit again for that. It was rubbish. Today's really windy, so we're gonna try again. The difference is we're in the arches field, and if you look around, it's completely surrounded by mature, tall trees. And that doesn't always help him until he gets above the trees where the lift is. What often happens is in the arches field on a windy day, you get loads and loads of turbulence low down, and that can go against him, but we'll see what he does. Got his hood on to keep him calm. That means he could have 
doesn't get all excited to fly while we're talking about him. When the hood comes off, that's his signal. He can fly if he wants to. You might remember as well last time I told you he nearly landed on that old hey, on that old cow over there. <laughs> it's got great branches on its head, but we'll see what happens. plonks on the floor. Now if we stay here, he's probably going to come and try and mug me for the lunch, for his lunch. So if I walk away, hopefully he won't try and eat a camera worm. He'll fly up and get airborne and he'll get that idea. So let's see what happens. Remember what he's meant to do, got airborne, and we literally him do one big circuit and called him in. He's tired, he's not that fit, and we don't want to end with him landing in a tree again. We want to end with him realizing he's got to fly around and then come back when we call him. So he's not done too badly at all, and it's great to see him back in the air with over a six foot wingspan. Pouring around now, we're going in for a cup of tea. Watch the rest of the vlog. On the subject of eggs, we've got a crested gecko egg in there. They've hatched before, let's see if this one does as well. Anyway, let's get on. So, we've got an egg box set up of hatch right. Vermiculite works nearly as well, but for someone special like her, only the best really. Very carefully. She's still in there. Let's just make sure she has finished laying. Pretty sure she has. Have a look at these big clutch of eggs. Ostrich eggs. <laughs> look at the size of those beautiful eggs. And I've said it already. Excuse the state of my arms on this week's vlog. Genuinely, I've been cutting back a lot of roses. Looks terrible. I've washed my hands, pretty important, because they're going to be in that incubator now for two months and what I really want to do if I can is separate these eggs they're freshly laid they weren't laid this morning as fresh as you like look at that going to leave her in her nest box she hasn't even moved while we've sorted those eggs out she's exhausted I'm sure from laying all those beautiful eggs so we'll leave her in there for tonight give her a nice fresh bowl of water she'll probably be in there in the morning and then tomorrow we can sort out her entire enclosure what an absolute darling my favorite snake here and how many eggs have we got we've got one slugger here and then we've got good eggs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 good eggs. <sighs> Two months from now. Oh, please. Baby false water cobras. Well, I said ignore my hours because I was actually pruning rose bushes yesterday. And I said, 
when these little guys are small, they're really feisty, the little baby blue beauty snakes. And that's when they grow up, they calm down. Well, I thought I'd show you a comparison. <laughs> I thought I'd show you a comparison. The blood is it from the roses. <laughs> Naughty boy here <laughs> decided he'd try and behave just like a little, little tiddly one like this. The blue beauty snakes, you gotta love them. They're feisty, they're spunky things. But wow, steady on. They're absolute, absolute stunners. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put this little girl away. This handsome fellow, we'll pop him away. And for you guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn that little bell notification on to see what's coming in next week's vlog and our other videos. Well done.